Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chill the Vol 8 is hot with Chono here, about to give you another King of Fighters All-Star video. Now, I have not covered this series yet. I was actually contacted by Netmarble on October the 2nd. I was contacted by Netmarble to review the game, and I was a little bit busy taking care of some projects off of here, which is why the YouTube videos have been kind of slow, but I am happy to announce that I will be covering this game for the very first time. And I'd also like to give an extra shout out to Fortunato, also known as the Broadway Saiyan, who also covers this game. Great guy. Hopefully he can get a sponsorship at some point because he loves anime and he also loves fighting games. Now, talking about the King of Fighters All-Star, it did release last Tuesday, October 22nd. Sorry I'm a week late to the dance. The key feature is extreme combo action. Play the entire series King of the Fighters in this action brawler. Fast paced real-time matches. Strategic co-op play. And it, app offers in-app purchases. What game doesn't these days, honestly? Unless you're actually paying money, there's going to be app purchases in, like, everything these days. But Netmarble, as you guys know, is a popular franchise as they have made Lineage 2 and Marvel Future Fight. So, I thank uh, Netmarble for giving me the opportunity to sponsor this video. And they are offering some in-game currency at some point to also uh, showcase bits and pieces of the game too. But I wanted to do a video on top of that for you guys. Just to show off what the gameplay is all about. And for those of you guys that are new to the channel, thank you for watching. If you guys are a returning player, don't forget that I have a Discord and a Facebook group, Hollywood Channel Gaming, in there as well. So I've always liked the way that the Samsung tablet provides everything. The colors are super bright. So that's why I decided to put off my Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, even though I'm sure the iPad Pro will run this game a little bit better. But a 16:9 resolution also means a bigger screen. Now I'm not sure if I'm dealing with a loading screen right now or if it just throws up. So we'll be back with you as soon as we can actually enter the game. It could be downloading assets, and um, for some reason there's no like progress needed. Okay, yeah, it looks like this time it didn't actually crash and is loading up some stuff, so it'll probably pick the account that it wants me to sign up in. Alright, so same tap the screen. So please select a graphic setting for smooth gameplay and may increase value usually compared to uh, medium mode. Now, average display of movement could be 30 FPS. So, you're going to have a 1.6 gig download, and it says on Wi-Fi 3 minutes, LTE 5 minutes. So, we're going to spend a little bit of time downloading this, as it's probably uh, downloading all the assets. So, as soon as we download everything, uh, it says clear story quest of the year of your choice. That was not a 1.6 gig update, so that's kind of weird. It'll be over when this bug is removed, but you need to stay focused until the end. Okay. Alright, so data synchronization complete. Today's choice is Kuyo Kusangi synchronization status looks fine. Well, let's check it anyway. So it's downloading the assets. Okay. You're technically a buff since you're entering via synchronization, which means I can't stop the bug removal system from activating. It's not a system I can deactivate on a whim. You're going to have to think of this as a light exercise before the final battle. Okay, so tap attack button to attack your opponent. Use the base attack to defeat enemy monsters. Combo attacks to be formed by continuously tapping. You're important to us too, okay? You're the only one in the turners who can engage in battle with the enemy in person. Make sure not to get yourself killed. If enemy attack is too strong, then reduce the damage you take by blocking. So a block icon should be in there. Tap the block button to block attack. And the removal system will cease function when you reach the end. Use the skills of the character you synced with to defeat the enemies in your path. So you can see there's a skill and other skills into play, so this is definitely a tutorial here. And this is the real game now, stay focused until the end. Now on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, I am noticing a little bit of input lag. The S10 Plus that I have, that I'll probably be using for content, will not have this problem. But as you guys know, I prefer a tablet over a phone just because it makes it look a lot better on screen. Take a look at those standing behind me and what's wrong? Cat got your tongue. Are you ready? Please don't disappoint me. Fight! Alright, so you can see up top it's a level 30 Rugel Bernstein. And we're level 30 as well. 
So it looks like it's got the health bar and just like Chrono Blade. We did a lot of damage, so we can use a special skill here. This is kind of like a super move that the character has. That was some pretty good damage. And it looks like the game is loading good. I think we just need to get the assets loaded. And a lot more dialogue, and it looks like he actually finished there. Now it looks like he's hulking up. He's going to go throw something. And to anybody in advance, I would like to apologize if I pronounce the name wrong. I am not, like, a diehard King of Fighters fan. Yes, I've owned, like, King of Fighters. I believe it's 13 on the PS4. Yeah, that was a pretty simple tutorial there. So, it must be 2 to 10 characters, including numbers. I'm sure Hollywood will be taken. Nope, name is available. We're going to take Hollywood. I'm surprised. Alright, so you can select from three starting characters. I'm personally a attacker. Uh, but let's look, look at these. Leader skill increases. Red element fighters attack and defense by 10%. But it looks like these are all generic ones that you get. So, if it's any like Raid Shaolin, it's like a rare, like, three-star type character. I'm actually going to go with Terry Bogard because of Purple Element Fighters and Attack. And Burn Knuckle Power Whip. And he's kind of the most well-rounded out of all of them. So, we're going to select him. So, we're going to start the game with the selected fighter. And you can see that that's what the loading screen looks like in the middle. How it's like a phone to the internet. So, it's like communicating with everything. And then once everything loads in, you're going to get added right to the game. Again... Your device might load quicker or slower depending on what you have. I'm running off a of Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. And I'm actually going to skip the story because story and video games usually are boring if they're long drawn out. I just want to get into fighting. How did you change your appearance like that? So you can tap the button to command the fighter, active fighter's information. Ready, go. So there's level 4's meaning extra abilities that they also pick up as well. There's a roll feature and other various skills that you can use. I wish they had a jump skill. It looks like they have an evade though. This is definitely like Chrono Blade as far as the fighting goes. You can definitely combo in some extra hits, which I always like. And the money automatically goes through. You don't have to actually go and run pick it up like River City Ransom. And the action is definitely fast paced. These guys are obviously level 1, so I wouldn't expect too much of a, a disadvantage here. It looks like the gold currency 27 is probably like a basic currency that you can obtain. We're going to be fighting Johnny in this battle here. So I imagine it's basically just a ground and pound. We'll see 30 seconds of hard to apply. That's two health bars. That's our first little bit of damage we took. And he's going to try to command something. We almost have full power here. It looks like we're going to knock him out before we can even get there, and that is a KO. Pretty easy. The beginning of the fight usually are. You win. So growth mission completed as well. And we cleared within uh, three minutes. So we got some crystals. We got 19 crystals all together. And I'm assuming that's another basic currency that you can get. Or it could be something to raise your level. So Terry goes up to level three. And you can see he gains a bunch of stats even at level three. So he gains a small chunk of attack, defense, and HP. All of those are important to actually like survive and we also get a uh, common XP capital so this is good if you get a new person you want to level them up quickly I don't recommend use them on your first guy level them up so you can see that Terry is a three-star character so I imagine it's just like Raid Shadow Legends if you're familiar with the game so a four-star will go to level 40 a five-star could go even higher and a six-star could go even higher than that once again I'm gonna skip the story because I really don't care about most stories Alright, so we just completed the first battle, so let's try the second battle next. So AP could be action points. So, for AP, and I imagine certain things are going to cost more. And once you complete them, you get more crystals as well. So I imagine that's a premium currency, from the looks of it, as there's 100 coins and 19 crystals. So are you ready? Press the battle to begin. We're going to do that as well. And we're going to sip on this Coke during the loading screen. All right, so let's get back into it again. Go! This is special, unfortunately. So let's roll in. And you can see these opponents are level two now, so we have a 
level advantage over the opponent if that even matters. Now keep in mind, like most games, you can play well with weaker characters as long as you understand how the game works. Okay, when you skill, when to block, when to dodge out of the way. Both of those aspects are going to be super important to avoid massive amounts of damage and can become super important when you're at a disadvantage. So now we're going to be fighting a level 2 Reaper. He's got a couple of henchmen. So you can definitely focus on taking them out or going after the boss or saving your skills using there. So you can see that he's charging up with a stab attack. So when he's charging up, just dodge out of the way. And it should be a pretty easy fight. Or you can just block a little bit of damage. We can see we took a little bit of damage there, but I hope it's still massive. And for an entry-level tutorial, they want you to be able to win decisively. And just like that, you can clear with 30 or less hits. A math combo and 10 or more. So always beat the opponent when you can. And first clear, we get another 19 of those crystals. Those are going to be super important later on. And Terry Bogard gains a level of 4. Our account level almost hits 2. So even getting 400 stats pretty important. And we're going to get more of those potions for XP. Once again, I'm going to skip the story because I'm not big on story. I just want to get in and fight. So we're going to use another 4 AP. But it looks like in the tutorial we're not using AP. So again, you can look at the... Uh, objectives so you can clear within uh, 30 or less hits you can't actually click on it because it's a tutorial so you want to make sure you're using skills taking as little hits as you can and beating these fights easily again we're gonna skip, skip the story because I'm not a story guy Ready? so Go. apologies if you guys want me to show up the story I'm not a fan of the story in a lot of games unless it's Diablo related I really don't care So once again, there's a combo. Nice combo there. We got a 14 hit combo. This guy has a sliver of health left. We're going to take him down with a jab. Alright, so you can see the progress 1 and 2. So that's like two stages all together. So this boss has five bars of health. Not that it really matters. It's kind of like the Chrono Boy in way of showing extra stats on a character and like how tough they actually are. But you can see the tutorial, they're not hard at all. Times 5, times 50, they're still going to get dropped in like 10 seconds. So. Again, we got all of the objectives, which are pretty easy to get. Taking 30 hits in this mode is super hard, if you have a basic idea of how fighting games work. So now we rank up to 2, and we're going to get a plus 30 AP, and that's going to be good for your energy. So if you're really close to leveling up, don't spend AP. And we're going to also get 10 of the premium rubies, which is the actual uh, currency. So we cleared the... Uh, a couple of the daily objectives, and we hit level 6 on our Terry Bogart, so we got a nice chunk of stats as well. And we're going to get another XP capsule for that. So now the uh, main portion of the tutorial is done. So now we actually have missions. So when it's, then it's decided we'll enter the King of Fighter with this, let's return to the lobby. So the home button on the top right, we're returning to the main area. And that's why I prepared this. So complete missions to obtain items. So the growth mission will help you get stronger in no time. So growth mission level one. Let's start with what you can complete. Tap the, to go to the mission location. So we can obtain rewards. It's going to tell you to close. And we get a login bonus there. So you get rubies for playing the game for free. At day seven, you get 300, which is pretty good. You're also going to get fighter summon tickets. You get a three-star fighter. You can uh, get a 3-star battle card. You can also get 10 HP attack or defense capsules. And an element soul. So there's a few things that you can actually get. So we're going to get rubies there. And Halloween uh, party login. We get a spooky and ghastly fighter summon and token silver. So at day 7. You can get 10 summons without spending rubies. So we get a Baseball Yuri 4-star Super Rare. That's pretty cool. We get a nice pitch in the Slicer Kusangi. We get a lot of stuff. So I don't know if this is like a promotion for my account or what it is. There was just a thing to get on there. We got a Fighter Selector as well. So let's actually go into the Summoning if we can. So Summon Fighters are Battle Cards using Rubies. Summon Tickets and Boxes are stored here. So check the lineups and summon fighters or battle cards. We actually have 
uh, one of these, I believe. Yes, we do. So let's actually uh, open it and see what we get. Inside, we're going to receive after a slight delay of the flash. Definitely Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. And same, please tap the screen. We are going to get... I don't know what gold actually is. What is this? We're going to get a four-star Ryo Sakazaki, which is a super rare in the green class. So we collected a third party. We have two four-stars and a three-star. So that's really cool. And if anybody got a, a three-star and doesn't have a four-star, I apologize. I'm sorry. I don't control that. So you can see we got 200,000 coins for free. And we can obtain these rewards as well. I don't know what this friend point thing is. So if it's anything like Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, you can get different rewards. You can also get 50 AP, which is like your XP. You also get achievements for collecting fighters. And also events. So if you clear the story one time, you can get three uh, launch tickets. If you play the Soul Quest uh, so many times, if you play the dungeon, and then repeat. There are missions that you can eventually repeat. So it encourages playing the game. And we got another four star fighter. Another 10,000 coins. So add two fighters to your team. Let's actually go here. Okay, let's make them the leader. And we'll put actually, let's put all our four stars in. The fighters of the relation have been included on the team. So leader skill increases all fighter damage dealt to the attack type by 30%. That's a pretty good leader skill if you ask me. So you can see the affinity that green is strong against yellow and red is actually strong against green. So it's like a lot of games and if you're familiar with that mechanic it shouldn't be that bad at all for you. So you can also see the applied effects. Uh, team relation. Fighters hit points will be increased by 5%. And you can see um, fighters, females, you can also do it with uh, basically a lot of synergy here. So there's a lot of things to actually look for. There's small bonuses, but critical damage from the nest could be really good. And even a weapon master team recovering the fighter's HP could be really strong. Could be great for sustaining. And I'm not sure what the fighter link actually is. I'll have to get more into that when I play off camera. And you can also check the codex. Let's check the rewards. So we got a first star recruitment award, so 2 HP, an attack, and a defense. So yeah, it looks like you get global stat increases. That's actually kind of cool. So it definitely encourages you to expand your roster out. And you get those little extra stats. So uh, let's cha change that. And now we can obtain another reward. We get 100 more rubies. So we're at 787. I really don't want to actually uh, open any of those up. But let's see if we can, uh, we, all right, we do have a fighter selector. You can select a fighter from the list. You can actually check, get five star fighters on this list, which is pretty badass. All right, so I am going to go with, Actually, uh, use a fighter summoning ticket first before we use the selector. Thank you for the subscription on YouTube. That way we can actually see what we get. So we're going to tap the screen. That gold was a four star. I think we're going to get another four star here. And inside, we're going to get Joe Higashi. Looks pretty cool. Also from the 94. So a ticket used to obtain one three-star battle card from the King of Fire battle card summon lineup. So let's use that. Okay, so what are we actually going to get from this? We are going to get... Looks like a rare basketball, whatever that is. An option card. So it increase, decreases damage received from purple elements. 
So that's actually a pretty good defensive card. And we can't actually do a friendship summon. We can do a free summon here, so let's actually do the free summon. Now, I imagine we're not going to get anything good. It's probably like a one or two star thing, but hey, we can build them up and level them up too, so that's okay. We're going to get Ralph Jones as a rare. So, from a free, I'll take it. That's pretty good. And there's also Halloween Fighters. It looks like if you get 200 of those, you can actually get a selector. So now, we're going to actually look at our fighters. And it looks like we have purple and red. Now, I'm not sure what like the uh, icons are. I'm guessing it's like attack, defense, support, and like technician. So I'm actually going to go with my green. So whoever is green, I'm going to actually use that for my really good summon. So where did I actually go to for that? I think it was in summon. I have a selector. So let's look for green. Alright, so I'm looking at Yuri. Yuri's a good choice. Uh, Kasumi, Mature, World Damon. Uh, Ryu Yamazaki, Robert Garcia. Why is this not scrolling down? And C. Kensu, Andy Bogart. I think I'm going to go with. I wish I could filter this by type. I think I'm going to go with Yuri. So we're going to select this as my first 5 star, because it also uh, coincides with the green class that we seem to have the strongest ones for. So we're going to rebuild our team. And yeah, you can see the 5 star that we have here. An increased green element fighter attack by 40%, so that's definitely better than what we had. And you got to reach rank 3 to enter all this stuff, rank 4 to core, rank 15 to equip, and rank 7 for affinity. So I'm sure you can't actually upgrade skills yet. Alright, so... I'm going to battle. Into the story. So we can get 10 of those gems, uh, rubies, for completing chapter 1. Let's go into chapter two. Chapter two is a battle. Can we, where do we actually uh, form our team at? That's what I want to know. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put in what these all out. Our new ultra rare. So fighters HP will be increased by five percent with the Japan synergy. And you can also see green element fighter attack by 40%. No leader skill, however, but that should be a big deal. Now, I'm not sure why it says cost 135, what that actually means. But yeah, this is a super powerful team. I have a feeling we're going to make mincemeat of this. You can use the auto function to make it easy. Ready, go! It's kind of cool that you have that option. It's a pretty fast attacker, though. I like it. Oh, yeah. He's definitely quick. I like that. We're just beating these people down. So there's three stages in the zone. Shouldn't be that bad. We're in the second zone already. We actually hit somebody from that. Pretty cool. I like that little overhead she had there. We're just going to combo into these guys. Pretty easy stuff, and our skills are about to come back up. Going up against Pope. I would suspect this fight is going to last too long a 5-star. We already took like half the health off. Yeah, no contest at all. This is just way too easy with a 5-star. 
you win. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with that pull. Let me know how you guys like Yuri. I think she's amazing. I'm going to be playing with her more. Definitely. But if you guys like this video, please give it a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other King of Fighters videos, playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Chono. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Chono's God. And let me know what your favorite fighters are. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!